So now in this video, we're gonna look at splitting a power supply. So we've been doing op amp videos lately. We've been using the uh, single supply op amp where you just have like a single battery or a single uh, voltage source and you just power it directly. And there's a lot of op amps that are intended for a dual or a split supply. So we're gonna split it and the main focus is gonna be this uh, little integrated circuit right here that splits it for you. So it has some limitations where we have an output current of either sinking or sourcing about 20 milliamps of current. So depending on what direction the current's going, you want to keep it about 20 milliamps or so. But you can work with 4 to 40 volts. That's with uh, this integrated circuit right there. So it's the TLE 2426. I know it's hard to read, but uh, in any case, all the ones that I've seen, they don't actually say TLE on them for some reason. They got other readings. I don't know the uh, reason for that. But in any case, left pin is out, middle pin is common, and right pin is in. Look at the data sheet uh, for more specifics. But in any case, the uh, split or dual power supply. In my earlier videos, I had 9 volt batteries that I was using. And uh, battery snaps with wires that come out of them. And if you put them in series and you connect the uh, middle point, if you have battery snaps to, in this case the uh, breadboard for those videos you have that middle point right there you consider that zero volts and then you have negative nine volts on uh, one side for one battery and then plus nine volts on the other side of uh, that battery and you can also have 18 volts across the two of them so with the uh, integrated circuit the TLE 2426 you don't have to do that you can just take a single supply right there and you power those two pins and now we get a halfway point as the output we can consider that ground zero volts right there so we can either a sink current into the uh, output right there or we can source current from the output there when you're going more positive to negative it's an easy way to be able to alternate current and a lot of op amps are made for this split or dual supply and so for the demonstration, I put the TLE 2426 over here, and we have the in on top, the common in the middle, and the out at the bottom. So out is our virtual ground. There's a one kilo ohm resistor here. So I have these two LEDs wired in opposite directions. So the uh, short lead, the cathode, is to the trim pot, long lead, the anode, to the resistor for that one, and then the opposite. We got the long lead, the anode, to the uh, trim pot, short lead the cathode to our virtual ground now. And so that means the red LED will light up when we have a more positive voltage than ground, and the green LED will light up when we have a more negative voltage than ground. I have the oscilloscope so that we can look at that. But in uh, any case, they are parallel, but wired in opposite directions. This is a polarity indicator circuit. So there's the oscilloscope. I put uh, zero volts at the middle there. You can see the uh, black alligator clip and the red alligator clip which are clipped to a jumpers they're both on the negative rail right there they're just on opposite uh, spots to make it uh, easier to see the rest of what's going on so we have the power supply there set to 18 volts and a maximum of 20 milliamps of current to protect everything if I do something wrong so in any case now our ground is the uh, out right there for the integrated circuit and you can see that uh, we have the red jumper over there to negative. So it went up, now it's floating, we're back to zero. We can go to positive. So this is two volts per square, and we're dealing with nine volts per square. So I'm gonna go to the uh, trim pot there. So that's the other side of the LEDs, and you can see we're back to about zero volts right now, approximately. So there you can see it's two squares per division. So it's uh, two, four, six, eight negative, and two, four, six, eight uh, more positive that we can look at. And we can go up to nine though, in both directions. So let's go back and uh, let's turn the lamp down a little bit. That should make it show up a little bit better. But in case, I'm gonna turn the trim pot up towards the positive supply, and you can see the red LED lights up. So we're above eight right there. And uh, now we're at about six approximately, positive. Now we can go about uh, six approximately uh, negative, and uh, there's four, six, and then eight, and then beyond eight, about nine right there. So in any case, 
we can either go more positive or more negative really easily than our now new ground right there. Zero volt reference point. So that's going to make it so I can make a lot of circuits with dual or split, whichever one you want to call them, uh, op amps. That's the main reason why I bought these. And we can also make this circuitry with an op amp. You don't actually have to buy these. I really like these though. They don't take up much space on the board and they're easy to figure out what they're doing. So for making videos, this is really nice. Whereas if I was just making circuits and I wanted to save on money, I would just use an op amp. So that'll probably be the next video. But in any case, thanks for watching this video and I will post some other ones. Make sure you check them out. And uh, click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching as many videos as you can is uh, greatly appreciated. So thanks for everybody that does that. I will see you in the next video.